Helium 10's Chrome extension graph has probably been the most important tool throughout my years of self-publishing and in this video what I'm going to do is go through the different ways in which this tool has been useful. So this particular tool, the graph that you see over here is something that I use probably on a daily basis. Actually, I do use it on a daily basis and multiple times, at least seven to 10 times. I recommend that everyone downloads this tool as it's absolutely free. All you need to do is go onto the Chrome store and type in Helium 10 and install it onto your browser. That's all you have to do and it's absolutely free. Many of you probably use this tool but are unsure as to the different ways in which you can use this tool. So I'm going to go through the ways in which I personally use this tool which helped me in my publishing. So the first way in which I use this tool is to check for demand. So when you're researching a niche, more often than not, you'll have a look at the average BSR and you might have another tool that's installed which gives you the average BSR such as DS Amazon Quick View. However, this is just one level of checking the average BSR and whether or not it's worth getting into the niche. This is one level. So you might look at this particular niche, Feelings Journal for Kids, and you might look at the BSR and determine that perhaps it's a good niche to get into as the BSR is quite good. So looking at this one, 55,000, this one here, 93,000, and then 41,000. So you might determine that this is a good niche to get into, but this is only one level of checking the BSR. What Helium 10's Chrome extension allows you to do is to have a deeper look at the books. So you can see that I've got this book open and by deeper look, what I mean is the consistency of the BSR. So when you look at the BSR over here on the graph, you'll be able to determine whether the BSR is actually consistent because what you don't want to do is stumble upon the niche at a time where the book has demand only for you to publish in the niche and then to realize that the BSR has or the average BSR has gone up. So Helium 10's Chrome extension, the graph extension allows you to see the historical BSR to determine whether or not it's worth getting into a niche. And in this case, and with this particular niche, it may be worth getting into as the BSR is consistent and in fact has been consistent throughout the months. So this is the first way in which this tool is useful and I use for my publishing business. The second way is to check for seasonality. For many types of books, it's quite obvious that a book is seasonal such as a Christmas coloring book or a Halloween activity book. However, for other types of books, it's not so obvious. And an example of this would be a teacher appreciation notebook. So you might stumble across this niche and you want to see whether or not it's seasonal. So what you can do is using the Chrome extension, you can have a look at the historical BSR. So by clicking on 90 days or one year, you'll be able to see whether or not the book is seasonal. And in this case, you can see that it is because it's only during a certain time of the year that this book has demand. And then after that, it loses that demand and attraction. So using this tool helps you in determining whether or not a niche is seasonal and it's particularly useful for niches that the seasonality isn't so obvious. The third way in which I use this tool and it's quite useful is to check for spikes in sales during particular seasons. So this is an example of a book that is evergreen, so a reading logbook. However, this tool can help you to see if the niche attracts more buyers during certain seasons. So even though it is an evergreen book, what you can do is check to see if it attracts more customers, more buyers during a particular season. 
and in this case you can see that this is the case although it sells well during the year which is absolutely great in Christmas as you can see here just leading on to Christmas and during Christmas this book or the books in this niche they sell even better and who doesn't want to get a spike in sales during a particular season to make a few hundred or a few thousand dollars more from their books and on the topic of seasonality it's not a good idea to just publish seasonal books and to instead have a catalog of books that consist of both evergreen and also seasonal niches and this is something that Ben from Money on the Side talks about in his self-publishing course that he recently created and this is an A to Z self-publishing course that goes through everything that you need to know about self-publishing right from setting your account to having the ideal mindset to creating books, advertising them etc. If anyone's interested in this course I do have a link to it in the description below. The next way in which the tool can be useful is to determine or to see how long it can take for the book that you publish to take off. So I'm back on this book over here. So you can see that they published this book back in June of 2021. So if you go to all time over here, you can sort of get an idea about how long it can take your book to take off based on the data. So they released their book back in July of 2021 and you can see that it took them six to seven months for their book to really start to take off. So you can see this from the graph and the BSR associated with it. So at the beginning you can see that they barely made any sales. So this was for a few months until after six to seven months their book started to really take off and achieve amazing BSR and sales. So by looking at this data you'll be able to also determine or get an idea as to how long it may take your book to take off. So this is another way in which this tool is useful and I use it for this particular reason. Another way in which I use this tool is to check my own books consistency. So this tool isn't only useful for niche research and checking others books but it's also useful to check your own books and I always use this tool to check the consistency of my books. So the graph that you see over here is for one of my books and I use it regularly to check my books consistency, all my books consistency. So you can see that this particular book has been consistent throughout the months and years that it's been published. So this tool helps me to check this out and monitor it. And you can see that the sales for this book has been consistent. For other books that hasn't been the case as with this book over here. So you can see that the sales even though they were initially good over time they started to drop the sales started to become less and less consistent to the extent that nowadays and with this particular book I only make 7 to 10 sales a month and what this tool allows you to do is check the consistency and based on that information make some sort of decision to get your books to start selling well again so you might have a look at the competitors books to see if they're better and if they are then you may decide to update your book so that you can match their book and regain the sales. If you find that your competitors did pricing their book lower then you may decide to match their price to regain the BSR and sales once again. So this tool helps you to do this. It helps you to see the full image and historical BSR of your own books and make decisions based on the data. Another way in which this tool is useful is to check the effects of price changes on your books. So once again this is uh, another book of mine and during the last 90 days my book has sold quite well but if I go to one year over here 
you can see that my BSR and overall sales have increased after adjusting my price. So up until around April of 2024, my book was priced at $8.99. And although it was selling well, it wasn't selling as many copies until recently when I reduced the price by $1. So you can see that there's a disparity. There's a difference over here in this section and for these months the BSR was high whereas when I reduced it to $7.99 the BSR got even lower increasing my sales. So this tool helps to see how price changes affect the sales of your books. And just over here I've got another book of mine and if I go to 90 days or even one year you can see that I've played around with the price of this book so it's been priced at $8.99 for quite some time until I decided to increase the price by $1 to $9.99 and you can see that when I did that when I increased the price to $9.99 it started to lose traction so based on this data what I decided to do was to reduce the price once again to $8.99 and as you can see here that my sales for this book has recovered. So these are all the ways in which I use the Helium 10's Chrome extension for my books. If anyone wants to download it then I do have a link to it in the description below. I'm going to end the video here. If you found it useful then do give it a thumbs up. And on the topic of ads, if you want to learn about all the different types of ads that I run for all of my books nowadays, then check out the video that's on your screen now. And thank you for watching.